Hi there, my name is Cronenberg and welcome to my channel. Uh, this is a game review, review of Batology, a uh, indie action third person shooter. Uh, the developer is Blackline Studios and so is the publisher. Um, it's got mostly negative reviews on Steam <clears throat> and it's currently for 79p. Uh, only come out in 2015, so you know, a newish game. There we are. Uh, so basically, your company is in development of robots for a new generation called Batology, um, remote control of robots. And you've basically got to go in and try and make your way through the levels. So I played the game. Um, actually, I have the game on my, 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 you know, my Steam list. Um, but I'll, I'll give you the good and bad points, but the reason why I, I kind of stopped, and that's why I'm giving this review. So, uh, the actual game, you start off as this kind of scrawny little character, and you go into this arena to try to, um, well, first of all you do it like a tutorial, and then you're moving around uh, the different levels. Now, what you have is, uh, you have this, um, this like, uh, gate to get through. Uh, to get through each gate, you've got to create this plasma, I think it is. Um, and to do that, you need a certain colour and an empty capsule. It doesn't tell you how to do this at the very beginning, it just says you just need them. But you don't know what you need. So you spend like about 10, 20, 30 minutes peeing around by this bloody door trying to feather out how to get out. And that's just on a tutorial, so it's like, what's going on? Um, eventually, when you figure it out, you still don't really figure it out because you, you know how to use it, but you don't know, so you know how to... Um, how to activate it quickly, so you, you figure it out eventually. Um, at the very beginning, the, the, the audio of the characters, they're trying to speak, I think, in some sort of alien voice. Unfortunately, um, it's this... It, it didn't work for me. Uh, basically, I can't really do it, because obviously I'm not putting the audio on. But the uh, audio is... Well, it's, it's, it's the typical kind of, like, useless dubbing, so... Um, where there's a big long sentence of about like a hundred words, there'll be a little blah, blah, blah. and then when there's the okay then, it just goes blah, 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 and goes on for about half an hour. It's like oh, come on, be realistic. So like I say, you got these stupid capsule things, and at the very beginning you're not too sure. You don't want to buy too many because of this this money thing. So because you don't want to buy too many, you don't, and then you realise you can just basically blitz it, and you don't realise. Um, the robots are. Uh, are interesting, to say the least. Um, the issue I had with the robots is the fact that um, when you shoot them, they reappear. Not straight away on the first bit, but when I got to the actual first bit of the arena and there's like I think six of them zipping around, uh, they don't zip around too far. You know, they, they stay in their own little sector, uh, so you can kind of like get used to how to move your character, and that's kind of okay. But then when you get into where they are, you think, well, if I killed them all, then they won't appear, will they? Yeah, they do. They reappear. And they reappear instantly. <laughs> so it's just like, what's the point? Uh, your gun is this plasma thing. It never never runs out of ammo, but it does take a while to reload. Uh, your health, where they have pinpoint accuracy and you're there shooting their life at you, and you, you have to use two of these clip things before you kill them. No, and then you realise you haven't necessarily killed them because that's what I didn't do at the beginning. Um, your health is quite diminished, but you reheal eventually. And it took me at one point, I just went off and made a cup of tea and come back and I'm still rehealing. And I thought this is ridiculous. And I played on, I think it was the easy level, I can't remember the top of my head, but it was like, this, this is pointless. I mean, uh, at least make it a bit faster, you know? Uh, Make, make you can still lose the health, but make it so that when you reheal, you reheal in say a minute, not straight away, but in a minute. You know, like most other games tend to have it. A lot of people said you couldn't run, well you can run, but you can't exactly belt along. Uh, and plus you run out of, uh, of like you know, breath after a while, which is kind of annoying when you run after these things. And what I, I tended to do is you got these stupid gate things, like I say, and so what you have to do at one point is you run near this gate and you get this code. It's best to just run to the gate, figure out the code and leg it back to where you think you're safe. Then try and make this plasma thing. Then get your health back, get your breath back, get your armor, uh, the weapon back. Then run off again. 
activate the thing and then run back again and then get it all back again and then go back again and go through the gateway and think you're safe but then they all follow you it's like oh and so it, it's it's things like that it just drags you down uh, I didn't complete all the level well I didn't complete the first level to be honest because uh, when I died after realizing that these damn things reappear I went straight back to the beginning again of the tutorial so and it's like well it doesn't auto save it, you can't save it where you want to save it and apparently it only saves at the end of each level but I still like that option you know I, I think that if you die you can go back to where you were and everything is kind of done because the tutorial bit where this robot was running rogue he was running rogue so I think I think that's what happens but it's still annoying that you've gone all the way where you've gone and you've got to go back through it all with these robots to just don't die with your bloody crappy little gun so I can understand the mostly negative reviews, um, but you know that's that's the thing. So like I say, I've just done a little uh, little video of it, so you can see it. Um, anyway, hopefully uh, you've enjoyed this little review. Maybe you've played the game and you've completed it. Very curious if you have. Um, maybe put a comment in the comments box below. Subscribe if you haven't done. Give me a thumbs up if you like this one. Um, and check out my other reviews in my channel. Okay, thank you and goodbye.